Super Dave here for another review. Super Dave here with another exciting review and today we're doing a combo. I got Battle Armor Skeletor for Christmas and I'm eager to open him but a guy that I've had for a while that I've also been eager to open is Demo Man. Now many of you know that Demo Man comes brand new in package packed with the Alcala Skeletor head which is the head that I want to use on my Battle Armor Skeletor. So I'm going to do these reviews together because I wanted to go ahead and give a quick review on this guy. So if you'd indulge me just for a few moments and be patient, we're going to give you some details and a backstory on these two guys and how Demo Man and Skeletor kind of become part of each other's story. And it all starts with, of course, Keldor. Now, as you know, uh, King Myro, back years and years ago, uh, King of Eternia, had two wife, well, had a wife, a queen, who, of course, Together they had Randor, Prince Randor, and he had an affair with a Gar woman. Gar women or Gar race have blue skin. He had an affair with a Gar woman on an island, and that's how they had Keldor. Now, Keldor, of course, and Myro, I'm sorry, and Randor grew up together as brothers, pretty, pretty good together, and enjoyed it. And of course, Eventually, Keldor became jealous and some, you know, evil things began to, he began to be influenced by the dark side. <laughs> A little crossover joke there. But uh, he began to be pulled to the dark side. He began to be pulled to some of his jealousies and, and ambitions and, you know, different things happen. And there's different versions of the backstory of what caused that even in the 2000X. But getting to the point, he wanted power to the point that is, you know, in the beginning and the uh, 2000X, Chronicles, and of course classics have some variations as well. He came after King Randor, or Prince Randor, so that he could be king, and he threw the acid, uh, and of course King Randor, or Prince Randor, blocked it, and the acid went back onto Keldor's face, and it began to melt his face, and he was dying. Well, he had been a pupil of Horde Prime himself, the spirit of Horde Prime. And, uh, of course, Horde Prime was ca captured uh, in Despondos and uh, wanted out so that he could come out and, uh, and wreak havoc again and Hordak and all, the whole Horde Empire. And, uh, of course, he kind of tried to trick, uh, you know, Horde Prime and, and letting him live so that he could uh, uh, rule by his side and continue to learn from Horde Prime. But he, uh, Horde Prime is smart and Hordak is smart. You know, they said, well, we're being, we're being tricked. And, um, and of course, uh, the story is that he, uh, he merged him with this extra dimensional being from Despondos, Demo Man. And so it saved Keldo's life, but it also drove him temporarily insane and convinced him to open a port of, portals of, to Despondos and lead what he thought were his people into Eternia. And uh, so this all came about, but what happened, of course, is instead... Even though it saved his life, he became, became more than just Keldor. He became Skeldor, like the merging of, of this being to, uh, to become this being. Now, Demo Man, the real story behind this and the backstory of the multiverse or Mo Masters of the Universe is, of course, this is just a concept art of what the villain was to look like before they finally landed on you know, what we know now to be the Skeletor. But classics and uh, I guess also 2000X and their genius and their bio stories and Skrullos and all that good stuff and their bios and you can certainly pause that if you'd like to read that story. Decided to change the Chronicle up and, and add him in so that we not only got a figure of that concept arc, but he also had a backstory. So that's awesome. So we're going to open him in just a few moments. There is our um, Skeletor action figure, the Battle Armor Skeletor. And you see it says over here in the corner, original. And you see the uh, other selling points on the back. And if you want to read his bio, you can pause it and do so. All right, we'll be right back. 
All right, even though Demo Man is not what we're reviewing today, I just want to give a quick look at him since we got him out of the package. He is a beautiful specimen. Now, I really like him more than I really thought that I would. Uh, like I said, the main reason I wanted him is so I could get the Alcala head uh, for Skeletor, but this is awesome. I mean, I like him so much better than I thought that I would. Check out those feet with those nails, I mean the detail, I love it. He's got good articulation that's basic for this figure, single jointed elbows and knees, swivel at the wrist and waist, and um, very restricted head movement to be sure, but this guy is absolutely amazing. I love these bones on top of his head and the detail that goes with that, and his beard, and this is a really neat soft armor that just kind of, you can pop his head off and could take that off, but it rests right there, looks perfect. Even has that little hair, just like in the concept art, this little hair coming off through his back uh, tunic. And that is really cool. But uh, just a lot of detail, and of course with accessories, just very quickly, he comes with this really cool, almost pirate or Viking type sword, and that's really neat. And um, yeah, just just all around an awesome awesome figure I really like him his other accessories he comes with this um, this spiked mace type weapon with that very stiff unpliable uh, rope leather rope looking um, swing strap part there and then of course that odd skull uh, crown or helmet that he comes with and you can pop this head off and put that on there which this is more useful in other ways in the Motu Classics collection. A lot of creativity that you can do with this guy. I've seen a lot of neat photos on Instagram with what people have done. And then of course last but certainly not least the main attraction that we will be looking on our Battle Armor Skeletor and that's the Alcala head sculpt like you would see in the mini comics. This is what Skeletor looked like with those red eyes, those menacing teeth, that green skull, and uh, that's him right there. He came. This is the final product. They this was concept art of what Skeletor or the bad guy would look like, and then they named him Demo Man so they could still use him in the line. But this is the final product, and we're all so thankful that it was. This Skeletor is one of the most iconic villains throughout the cartoon histories. And uh, certainly can't wait to break open our Battle Armor Skeletor. Let's get to it. And here is our star attraction, finally. Oddly enough, I do not own a regular vintage style uh, Skeletor, Masters of the Universe Classics Skeletor with the head that looks kind of like a vintage and the regular, you know, uh, shield or body armor that he would come with. Like, you know, and there's a picture of him there. I'll put it up. Um, I don't have one of them, uh, oddly enough. I've never been a big Skeletor collector fan in the sense of you know having to own all of them. I really wanted this Battle Armor Skeletor because I like the way he looks and it goes along with my Battle Armor He-Man, which is right there. And so these are gonna go along perfect together in the series. Now I'm gonna be telling the story of Demo Man and Skeletor or Keldor and Skeletor and Hordak, all of that in the Masters Universe, the stories in my diorama movies that I am doing on my channel. And I am working on part four, don't give up. There's a lot to part four and it's taken me some time. But getting back to this Skeletor, I have never had one with this particular head sculpt. Now it's not identical to the vintage inspired classics uh, version of that you know Skeletor but it is very close it's very similar just a little brighter colors but I am not going to be using this head either I am going to put on this head for my particular Skeletor battle armor Skeletor let's quickly look at his um, articulation he can go of course up about that much he has swivel at the biceps single jointed elbows swivel at the wrist and they're tight I've heated this guy up with a hairdryer trick because he is an older character older figure that I have purchased new on eBay and I got a good deal on him and I'm excited about him. But there he is, his joints are good and tight, but uh, he does swivel at the waist. He does have the ab crunch feature, which the armor does not get in the way of. And uh, of course, he also has his ability to do full splits with those uh, thighs, swivel at the thighs like that. He can get a full seat. He has single jointed knees. 
he is able to have a good range of motion with his, of course, claw-like feet and toes. And then he also has a very impressive, that's right, pivoting ankle. And of course, you see again the age of this character because he has those pins. Wow. Uh, so it had to be around 2009-ish uh, when this guy came out. I'm not sh exactly sure. But... Um, and his armor is already trying to come off on me, but it snaps right in place. All right, here we go. So let's look at this guy's uh, ability to take off his armor. And then we'll be, of course, looking at his uh, head as well. Now, I mentioned earlier that I don't have one of the original vintage style Skeletors. And one of the main reasons I have to say this is because to me, this is Skeletor. That's right. The Filmation version. I mean, he looks like he popped right out of the cartoon, the Filmation cartoon <laughs> from the uh, Ram staff uh, to just that iconic face and his total look. This will always be Skeletor to me, and this is one of my favorites. But I'm excited about this guy because I did read the mini comics, and as you can tell, there he is. There's that iconic head in that Skeletor on the very front of this beauty here. And in throughout this these comics, these mini comics, that's the kind of head that he has. And so that's the reason I'm excited personally about trying this head on my Battle Armor Skeletor. And of course, always will keep my filmation head intact with this beautiful uh, ultimate Super 7 Skeletor that came with the laughing head as well. Love this guy. But let's go check out some more over in his technological review booth. Ubiquitous Lab of Evil. Be right back. All right, so the accessories that our Battle Armor Skeletor comes with, similar to Battle Armor He-Man, he just comes with a battle axe instead of the power sword and there is a nice shimmering type of uh, glitter in the paint on this battle axe which is really really neat as you can see that is excellent excellent really neat very cool looking uh, battle armor axe for our skeletor to wield there so that is really neat and of course the only other accessories that our battle armor Skeletor comes with is this almost bat symbol. <laughs> That's right, folks. The bat symbol of uh, his battle armor insignia, which is very similar to what was on the vintage. And uh, there was a picture there if you want to see the battle armor Skeletor in the vintage. So you can see the comparison of the heads and the armor style there. But here, is the one that's undamaged, the one that it comes with, oddly enough, and this one is actually the one that has been damaged twice by He-Man's power sword, the slashes, whoosh, whoosh, twice on there. I believe He-Man was packaged with just one slash, but anyway, there is the one with the uh, one slash there on his chest, and we're going to show you how to exchange those out. So the first thing is, like I said, we've already kind of limbered him up with the hair dryer. You just pop those pegs out from the top there, and then the same goes for the bottom. Just pop those pegs out there, little strap holders there. And then, of course, just like with our Battle Armor He-Man, our Skeletor is sporting, instead of a silver, it's almost a metallic purple with that same glittery look that the axe had so that's really nice really cool there and uh, of course his loincloth if you will uh, or furry underwear is black with a black belt so that's a little different too from the original uh, Skeletor vintage style that classics did uh, but there is his battle armor and all of its glory. You see the skull on the front. That's really nice. You see the black matte paint in contrast to some glossy black paint. That's really nice. So just all around a really nice. Look at all the detail to the back. Now this is even more. Now I know we have the musculature on Battle Armor He-Man, which I did a review video just the other day. But this has some really neat details, almost like some kind of kinky... Uh, you know, <laughs> some kind of kinky little uh, strapping mechanism that you would use. But anyway, that, that is really amazing the way they did that detail. Now let's look at, if you will, how to remove that 
uh, scarred insignia. Just like with the battle armor He-Man, you press in from the front and it pops out the back. And then whichever one you want to use, which I'm going to pop in the uh, undamaged one, you can just pop it right in through the back. Just make sure it fits in those little grooves there just right. And you can almost feel when it fits. Then you can check the front to make sure everything's even and it looks nice. There we go. And the same way, of course, with the other insignia, just pop out that one and then you can just put that rack right back on his chest and then attach with the little uh, pegs in the top. Just pops right back in very easily, very nicely. This one is actually looser than the Battle Armor He-Man on mine, but it's still snug. I don't think it's gonna pop off will if you you know handle him a great deal and uh pressure there but it looks really nice and i just love the look of this figure that looks great and of course as promised i'm gonna pop off this head and we're gonna try out first of all let's just look very quickly at the comparison before we put it on you see the comparison of those two heads and uh, not too big of a difference the alcala head on the inside of the hood is just a tad narrower it looks of course that dark bright green kind of like that's on demo man back there but look at the detail on the teeth still has those red eyes i like the pronounced skull looking nose almost like a boomerang shape and i like the the depth around the jaw that goes back a little bit more realistic in the depth department 3d department there but that color is about identical which is serving well with us this may be a shade darker but it looks almost identical in color so that's going to serve us well i believe in popping this head because it's going to make a good contrast there and uh, you don't get quite as much i notice already range of motion with that head compared to this Skeletor head and fitting on that armor, but what we can do I believe and I'll try this is just kind of put him on there There we go a little bit less pressure and you've got him right there. There you go There you have your battle armor Skeletor with his Alkyla uh, Head sculpt there we go. I used the hair dryer went ahead and popped in his uh his battle axe and there he is in all of his glory with his menacing alcala head that just looks i believe phenomenal check this guy out i just believe that is the perfect look i like that and i like that a lot i believe that's going to be exactly what the doctor ordered i believe that's exactly what he should look like i'm in love with this particular look for this battle armor skeletor with that um you know alcala skeletor head that was packed with demo man thank you so much for checking out this video like subscribe share tell me what you think and comment hey um uh, come back and see us next time let's look at some photos of battle armor skeletor <laughs>